happy. I'm curious, what did you take away from that personally, from all of that introspection? What did that bring you? Well, I wrote that um, autobiography when I was only 50 years old. I hope that's only a partial uh, <laughs> statement because a lot has happened uh, in the years since then. In some respects, um, some of the most important things I've done have happened since I left the Senate in 1981. Um, I think it was while I was struggling with that autobiography that I began to see some opportunities that I had missed. Uh, I saw some things I had done that could have been continued and more progress made. And one of those that's been a passion of mine ever since World War II uh, is the problem of hu human hunger. Um, I like to eat. Um, I've always been lucky enough not to be over overweight, but I, I like to eat, but I'd enjoy it a lot more if I knew that everybody else had enough to eat. And I've traveled too much across Africa and India and Latin America, parts of the Middle East, uh, and even parts of the United States and Europe, I've seen too many hungry people, and I can't get those images out of my mind. Now, I did a lot in the Food for Peace days of the Kennedy administration. We were moving in a typical year over four million tons of American grain, surplus grain, from this country to food deficit areas. We literally kept India alive during that period. Um, we didn't do much about China. We figured that um, communists, I guess, don't deserve to eat. So we, uh, we had a, a, a pretty uh, uh, tough stand there. But um, we should do more. And I've been ab able to do that after um, Bill Clinton was elected president. He named me the last four years of his presidency to uh, go to Rome for the next four years and uh, represent the United States with the two big UN food agencies there, Food and Agriculture, FAO as it's called, and the World Food Program, which I was instrumental in getting started during the Food for Peace days. But this, those last four years of the Clinton period, uh, 97 until 2001, I came to a formula that I think could end hunger in the world. And I'd begin with the children with a universal school lunch program. There are about 300 million school-age kids that get nothing to eat during the school day. And I proposed to President Clinton that the United States take the lead at the United Nations in providing a good, nutritious lunch every day for every hungry school kid around the world, about 300 million that are not now being fed. That would cost maybe five to six billion a year to do that. So if the UN would take that on, let's, let's say it's six billion dollars a year, and the United States supplied a fourth of it, one and a half billion. That's about what we spend every three days on the war uh, in Iraq, a war that we never should have gone into. I think the American people know that now. Um, for, for, for one and a half billion from the United States and the other uh, four and a half from the rest of the world, we, we could feed every hungry school kid every day all around the world. 
if you added to that a program that we in this country call WIC, Women, Infants, Children, provides nutritional supplements for low-income nursing and pregnant young mothers and their infants through the age of five, you'd be then providing uh, dietary needs for children for the first 18 years. And that's a big start. And we could reach the others. Uh, let, let me put it to you this way. Um, I used to think my most important mission was promoting world peace in the world. I'm still for that. But I don't think that problem's soluble in our lifetime. Maybe someday people will quit killing each other. They've been doing it ever since Cain and Abel. And it gets worse with each passing century. The 20th century was the bloodiest, most murderous century in the history of humankind. Um, what will happen in the 21st century, we can only hope and pray that we never drop another one of those nuclear weapons and that nobody else ever drops one. But I worry about nuclear proliferation with countries like Pakistan and Israel, India, France, Britain, China, the United States. I worry about all these nukes uh, floating around. So while I pray for peace, what I think is soluble is hunger. And we need a victory. We need something. We need a victory over illiteracy. We need a victory over uh, unsanitary conditions. We need a victory over AIDS. We need a victory over hunger. And we can win that one in the next 10 to 15 years.